everyone. Thank you. My name is Dana. I'm a product manager for Shield Gemma 2. Hi, uh, my name is Wen Jian. I'm a software engineer working on Shield Gemma 2. Wonderful. Thank you all for being here. As the capabilities of open models like Gemma 3 evolve quickly and powerfully, so must open safety mechanisms. Safety isn't a feature, it's an investment in the ecosystem. And that's why we're thrilled to be added to the Gemma family of models. We're thrilled to announce you Shield Gemma 2, a 4 billion parameter image safety classifier built on the strength and flexibility of Gemma 3. So let's dive into a little bit about how we built it, how it works, and who it can be used for. Shield Gemma 2 is built on high quality labels. We specifically curated a mixture of synthetic and natural image data, ranging from key harm categories. We leverage in-context learning strategies to develop this 4 billion model on top of Gemma 3. It's quite simple, and we're, we'll walk you through it, and we're excited for you to use it. You really take in just your defined policy, which you can customize later. We'll go into a little bit of that, as well as your given input image. Feed this into Shield Gemma 2, and you get out probabilities of a yes or no token for your safety labels. Yes, meaning it did violate the policy, and no, meaning it didn't. It's really as simple as that. So where can it actually be used? Shield Gemma 2 can be used as an input filter to any vision language model, like Gemma 3, or as an output filter of any image generation system. We specifically built it for this dual use purpose to accommodate not just the creativity of developers, but all the downstream use cases that come up of this. So we've just seen what Shield Gemma is and how it works. Let me just take you through and recap a bit step by step what this does actually look like in practice. So you have your existing image. You can then customize your policy. We cover key harms such as sexually explicit, violent content, and dangerous content. You can customize this further in our prompt template when we peel it back, and Wenjin will go into more detail on that. Next, you get your safety policy. These are the probabilities of tokens per image per policy. And finally, you can adapt this for your needs. We see this used in online filtering, offline evaluation. You can further distill it for your model development needs or extend it to your downstream use cases. It's really just image, policy, and label. As simple as that. Thanks, Dana. We have seen how and where Shogemma can be used. Now let's to move to how Shogemma does. In these slides, we are showing our evaluation results based on our internal evaluation data sets. We have compared Shogemma 2 with all other leading models with similar sizes, such as LavaGuard 7B, GPT-4 Mini, and Outbox Gemma 3 for b As you can see in this figure, the x-axis represents the key harm types, such as sexually explicit, dangerous content, and violence. And the y-axis represents the Ockman F1 score. A higher score indicates a better performance. As you can see in this figure, Shell Gemma 2, represented by the blue bars, outperforms all other models for all the key harm types. In this slide, we are showing you our pump instruction templates. At the very top, we are starting with the preamble, which indicates the problem definitions. And then we move to a policy placeholder in this XML tag. And you can further specify this policy in the later context. After that, in the suffix, we indicate the model to give you a binary response of yes or no, which indicates policy violations. Now we have seen the powerfulness of Shell Gemma 2. Let's quickly jump into this Python code to see how to run and get the results. As what Dana mentioned, our model supports both default policies and customized policies. And you can specify your customized policies in this map, which maps from your policy name to your detailed policy definitions. And then after that, we can call this Shell Gemma, Shell Gemma for image classification class to load our model. 
And then we can prepare the model inputs, such as the images, the default policy you are interested in, and the customized policy you would like to add. And then once the input is pre-processed, we can just one-click call our model to get predictions. And our predicted model probabilities represents the likelihood of whether this image is violating each of, each of your defined policies. And these scores can also be further used to inform your downstream tasks, such as safety evaluation or distillation. Great. Thank you, Wenjun. So we just got a deep dive into what Shield Gemma is, how it works, where it can be used, and how you can adapt it for your needs. To conclude, we wouldn't be here without the creativity and resilience of the open source community. We're so excited to see what you make of it and how you can adapt it for downstream use cases. We're excited to keep improving and evolving Shield Gemma with you. So please try Shield Gemma 2 today and adapt it to work for you. Become a community member, and we would love to hear your feedback. We wouldn't be here without the team that brought us here. We're thankful. Thank you for all being here today. And we're excited to keep evolving for safety. Thank you. Thank you.